the software is this running on? I noticed this proposal was a, a spinning beach ball that looked like a, an OSX. Yes, uh, a program in QT, but I can bring one of our programmers, Jeremy. Jeremy, they're asking a specific question about uh, um, the software. Yes, the, the kind of the, the software type. We know that there was a beach ball, an OSX beach ball before, what looked like it. Uh, Sorry, there are 10 MacBooks in the driving the, the AV system on, on all the displays. What's, what's pulling them together to work as one? So it's a custom set of software that we wrote to kind of synchronize all of the displays. So you can notice like the particles kind of flow and then each of the screens and you saw the big panoramic images. So but when you get in the car, you'll see all like, the dash and all four displays and the back display and the uh, 360 panoramic. We see it on all of this space. You have um, you have the rear project the, the rear projection and the dashboard. All these five rear projection are synchronized with all the other five displays. So um, and you will see these images throughout all the displays in the car. Then we have back display, we have four side displays, and then the uh, whole dashboard with five rear projectors. So with the, the virtual, I can't remember the exact name, um, the, the virtual environment that you, you have, um, is that synchronized actually to the movement of the car? So as you speed up and slow down, if you, say if you were driving down the 101, but you wanted to, like you're driving through Paris, as you sped up and slow down, would it, would it be speeding up and slowing down your virtual route? Okay. Of course. So imagine, imagine you have the data from special travel. And it's uh, and you are driving through I don't know what's where are you from? I'm, I'm San Francisco. You are driving San Francisco. Yeah. Maybe on the 101 mm -hmm. because San Francisco is very special with all the hills. Mm -hmm. 101. It has curves. It has a special elevation. Elevation. And, uh, and now imagine the car searches for other roads in the real world which are exactly the same route you have. Okay. This could be a possibility. But it could also be a possibility if you want to pick what your uh, location, location, say, well, I love the number one to drive. I want to have this displayed on my uh, car. And once you speed up, of course, it speeds up as well. You know? But ideally, if it synchronizes perfectly because the words are very similar, that's great. And I think once you get in the car, the car needs to build like, the particle system. Yeah, it actually shifts when you're turning. So each of the particles representing something kind of outside of the car is So the, the particles, so we want to communicate with the car later on, so it starts to get the communication part. And we thought, okay, you need some kind of visual feedback where the car understands you and reacts to you. That's the only one step, right? So we thought, how about we have this kind of um, intelligent membrane, yeah? the car is and it also reacts to the outside. So for example, imagine you are lying in this car and you don't see really outside, you don't know what's going on, but you still want to know what is going on. So for example, you have to, for example here, if you go to the particle system and you have, um, for example here, so you are sitting there and there's other cars driving by or a person walking by, you can see how these light up suddenly and there, there you see like a wave coming through, so you see the movement, what's going on outside. And this, these particles, they are visualizing it. 
but you can also extend it to the whole city and environment saying, hey, these are actual the traffic around me, these are actual cars. Or later on you could say, these are information from the city, you can click on and see what's going on. So there's a, this is like a very open concept which can contain a lot of uh, new ideas.